Welcome back. In this video, I'll be taking you through the first setup process, first time setup process, sorry, of your Samsung Galaxy A16. So I've just unboxed this phone. I haven't even turned it on yet. So let's start by doing that. So just turn on the phone, locate the power button and press on it for around three to five seconds. And then the logo should appear. So now wait for it to turn on. If it doesn't turn on the first time, try plugging in the phone so that it can be connected to a power source and then turn it on again. This should solve the issue you had when it was coming to turn it on because most of the time it won't have any charge that's left inside. So try charging it, then turn it on. So then from here, once you've turned it on, you'll be brought to the welcome page. So choose your language. So currently mine is set to English, United Kingdom, but I can tap on this drop down arrow and then select a different language from the list provided. So once you've selected your language, tap on start to continue. So for, from here, you need to agree to the end user license agreement as well as the privacy policy. You also have the option to send diagnostic data, but this is optional. So if you don't want to do that, you can just continue by tapping on agree. Then from here, if you have another device that you want to use to set up this phone, you can choose to use it, whether it's an Android device or an iPhone or iPad. Alternatively, you can always just to choose to set it up individually as a brand new phone by selecting set up manually. Once you've done that, you'll need to then connect to a Wi-Fi network. So select your preferred Wi-Fi network and then type in the password, then connect. And then once you're here, you'll be taken to the next step. So just tap on next to continue. So if you have inserted a SIM card, then you'll be brought to this page service provider setup, which will prompt you to set up your SIM card. However, if you haven't done that yet, then you can just choose to restart and wait for your phone to take you to the next step in the setup process. Then from here, just wait for it to continue. It will tell you getting your phone ready. So wait a few minutes. Then from here, you can choose to copy your apps and data and transfer any Google accounts, photos or contacts. So if you want to go through that process, just tap on next. However, if you don't want to do that, you can just say don't copy and we'll continue to the next step. Then from here, you'll be prompted to sign in to your Google account. If you don't want to do that or you want to choose to do that later, you can just tap on skip. If you want to continue, just enter in your account details and then tap on next as you continue through adding your Google account. So let me choose to skip for that right now and then skip. And then from here, you want to accept to Google services that will be on your phone. So for example, location, uh, phone number and verif verification and all sorts of options. So tap on accept those services and then once you've done that, you'll be prompted to protect your phone. So you can choose to set up a PIN, password, pattern, fingerprint, or face ID right now, or you can choose to do that later. So you can tap on skip and then skip 
and you can come and set that up in the settings app later. Then from here, you'll be prompted to sign into your Samsung account. Again, you can choose to do this now or you can choose to do this later. It's all up to you. So if you want to do this later, select forgot password or don't have an account and then set up later in settings. Then this will give you all the services that you'll receive with a Samsung account. Again, if you want to set it up, you can just tap on sign in or you can just continue with skipping. So once you've done that, you'll need to agree to Samsung service legal information, which includes terms and conditions. So tap, uh, select that. Again, the other options are optional. So it's up to you to decide if you want to turn them on or off. And this includes customization services, news and offers, impersonalized ads, all sorts of things. Again, if you want to agree with them, just select them, then tap on agree. So from here, you'll need to give Samsung service permissions, your customization service. You can choose to enable or disable that there and then agree. And then you can now choose your display mode. So from here you have light and you have dark. So it's up to you to decide which mode you prefer your phone to be in. Tap on next. And then you'll be prompted to install recommended apps. Again, if you're fine with installing that recommended app, just tap on next and finish the process. So once you've done that, you'll now be brought to your home screen. And then this is how the home screen of your A16 should look like. So you can see some apps have already been installed. Other apps will take a while, depending on the strength of your Wi-Fi network. So just wait patiently. And so that's how you can set up your A16 for the first time. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll see you in the next one.